guys. Check it out. Look at where Ryan and Akuro just visited. We're here at the Johnson Space Center at NASA. Come on, Akuro, let's go. That's right, Ryan and Akuro just got to go to NASA. Now NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is where scientists study and explore space. And Ryan said, oh, oh, what is happening? Rock school? What are you doing here? I, I thought you were in space. You, you, you. Oh, I get it. Being a nitric acid alamon, you are excited about Brian and Akura's recent trip to NASA because that is where they make rockets like you. You, you. We'll hover on over here and we'll check out what Ryan and Akura saw on their trip. Today, Akuro and I are at the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility at NASA. Are you ready, Akuro? All right, let's go. Akuro? Oh, you want to learn more about that, Akuro? All right, listen up. Thank you for coming today. And you are standing in the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility. This is a life-size version of the International Space Station where astronauts live and work while they're in space. All of the habitable modules, which is where they live and work, are inside of this building, just as you see here in this case. Whoa, they actually got to go inside one of the modules of the International Space Station? <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe it! They got to see Mission Control Center? This is where a team of experts observes every phase of a space mission. Mission control is manned and operational 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Come to think of it, between Ryan and Leo and Ella, you kind of had your own mission control at your next attempt at space travel, didn't you, Rock Skull? You, you. Three, two, one, lift off! <laughs> Don't worry, you've got this. Keep it up. We did it! Come on! Go, Rock Skull! Oh, yeah, time for the moment of truth. You can do it! Go to space! Lift off! What is he doing? What's going on? I thought he couldn't fly that high before. I knew his tank didn't have enough fuel, so he transformed to make it last longer. I didn't know Elamon could do that. By turning his tentacles into nozzles, he can focus the jet fuel to improve its efficiency and go higher. From here, he looks just like a real rocket. I guess Rock Skull was serious about going into space. He did it. I wonder if all Elamon have that kind of hidden power. We're here at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. <laughs> Look, Kuro, they use water to simulate zero gravity in space. <laughs> you can't go in, though. They're training right now. Come on. <laughs> so. Wow, Ryan and Akuro got to see the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. Inside that pool is a recreation of the entire International Space Station. Astronauts train in the water so they can feel what it'll be like to work in low gravity. You, you. That's right. Parts of the pool also recreate the moon's surface, complete with a specially designed sand that doesn't clump or cloud up in water, so it gives the most realistic version of what walking on the moon will be like. Man, after seeing all of that NASA footage, I want to work on a rocket ship. You, you. Hey, that's a great idea. We could do our own rocket launch experiment here at the lab. You. Um, uh, yeah, on second thought, we can do it right outside the lab. Let's go. So some of you may remember that Professor World and I did our own rocket experiment in the lab not too long ago. We accomplished that launch by combining baking soda and vinegar in a contained space. The chemical reaction produced gas, which built up pressure, and when released, provided the thrust needed for the rocket to achieve liftoff. 
Now for our experiment today, we are going to make a rocket that achieves liftoff using only air. Now, feel free to follow along, but make sure to ask an adult for help. First, I'll duct tape a piece of tire tube to a two liter bottle. Then I'll tape the other end of this to PVC pipe. Next, I'll make the rocket. I'll wrap some construction paper around the PVC pipe and tape it, making sure that no air can escape. I'll close up the end, tape it like so, and then decorate it so it looks like a real NASA rocket. And now it's time to launch. Let's go. Blast off in three, two, one. Wow, when I stomp on the bottle, the force rapidly pushes all of the air through the tube and into the rocket. This built up pressure blasts the paper rocket into the air where it soars through the skies, just like the rocket's NASA launches. Yeah. 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 Yes, just like you too, Rock Skull. Although both you and NASA use fuel to power your launches, this rocket just uses air. Oh, that was so much fun. And a huge thank you to Ryan and the crew for sharing your NASA visit with us. I hope you guys had such a good time yeah. and you, yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Silly me, we still have one more launch to do. Rock Skull. Obviously, he's got to get back to outer space. Wait, no, Rock Skull, you've got to do your launch. Ugh. Outside. Huh. Maybe the next lab experiment that I should do is how to patch up multiple holes in your lab ceiling. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to tune in next time for more fun with your favorite lab assistant, Neon. Bye! <coughs> I guess I should go find a broom. Ugh.